Hello and welcome to Spawn ATTV. I'm Carly Stewart and you know I wanted to say that I am approaching my 30th birthday. I know, can you believe it? The big 3-0. So a few things that I've been noticing in my own skin as far as changes, uh, you know, hitting those landmarks 30, 40, 50, I think uh, those are pretty significant landmarks where you kind of start to reevaluate things that are going on in your life. Uh, maybe you didn't, you haven't been doing something, but now is your time to get your act together and get something else done, and or I don't know. It's a, it's definitely a time of reflection, reevaluation, and uh, you know some putting together some planning, some things to do for the future. So, so I'm turning 30 in August. Yes, and uh, I've been noticing a few different things that have been going on with my skin which is fascinating. So I wanted to share these with you and uh, maybe if you are on one of those landmark birthdays, say you're turning 40 this year or 50 or you're turning 30 this year, that uh, maybe you're noticing the same things going on in your skin too or maybe not. Maybe you are so lucky to have beautiful perfect skin that you never do anything with and um, yeah, I am not one of those people. I am constantly fighting to keep my skin in good shape. I'm um, using sunscreen every single day to protect it, using vitamin A, C, and E, just to get some really good antioxidants on my skin. And uh, some things that I'm noticing are that I'm really, I'm starting to get a couple of little fine lines, a little bit more noticeable to me, probably not to most of you, uh, across my forehead, even a little bit around my lips too. And of course a little bit under here. So where you first start seeing aging normally is around the mouth and then around the eyes. These are the areas where you have most areas of expression. So the, the areas that move the most tend to start, you start seeing more fine lines and things going on around those areas. Um, also probably maybe a little bit of hyperpigmentation, very mild at this point. So that's why it's so important to wear your sunscreen every single day. Prevention is key. So, you 20 year olds up to 30, prevention is key to keeping your skin looking good, healthy, and uh, you know, prolonging the aging experience. So, that being said, please wear your sunscreen. If you need a serum, vitamin A, C, and E, use antioxidants. Vitamin C is a really great way to go. Um, if you are hitting around maybe that 40 year old landmark or 50 or maybe a little bit more experienced age, using something like peptides. A lot of serums are coming out with peptides in them and those are really great as well to use on your skin. So, um, you know, vitamins, antioxidants, peptides, sunscreen, always sunscreen. And, um, other than that, if you are noticing anything, you know, kind of interesting in your skin, i am been kind of analyzing people's skin as I see them, right? I, I'm, it's kind of a little game that I like to play of, I wonder how old this person is. Their skin tells me this, but maybe that's not true. Who knows? Um, so I usually just base it off on sun damage on what I see on people's skin on what's going on there. So anyhow, if you have any skincare stories, feel free to put them in the bar below. You know, let me know what's going on there, uh, what you notice at your landmark birthday. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one. Enjoy the weather. And uh, I'll see you.